Okay, um, do you remember the question? It's these two guys, uh, one has a wage that's increasing, good morning, one has a wage that's increasing according to this, um, where's, the, where's it actually saying, In annual increase of $2,500. Um, is it Julian or is it the other guy? It's Lawrence. Lawrence has an income, starts at 25K, and then it goes up in steps that are the same every time. So what kind of sequence does that form? And you go up by the same difference every time. That's an arithmetic sequence. Um, and then you've got Julian, whose wage increases by a set percentage, but right? because a percentage changes its size based on what it's a percentage of, um, you don't get an arithmetic sequence out of that. What do you get? Uh, did you say a doctor? <laughs> you get a, yes, fine, fine, I'll take that. You get a geometric progression, GP for short. Okay, now in particular what I want you to have a look at, I can't, my cable doesn't quite reach. I want you to look at, do you have your working in front of you? Yeah. Have you got it there? Yeah. I want you to look at your working and the person's next to you. I first want you to look to see if your working is substantially different to theirs. I'm not actually interested in whether you got the right answer or not, or the same answer even. It's how you set it out that I'm really, really interested in. Um, for this question, it doesn't matter all that much how you set it out, but as we go further into this topic, MAM1, Modeling Financial Situations, um, you will find, I know Mrs. Lee has already mentioned this to some of you, the way that you set out and communicate your answer to these questions, um, it will prove to be decisive in whether you get the right answer or not, and importantly, um, whether you demonstrate your understanding. Okay? So let me quickly show you how my part A is set out. Here's my part A, okay? Now the, the hardest part of it, which is not very hard at all, is to work out what his three first years of income are. There they are, you can see I've highlighted them there in yellow. And then you kind of have to use that fact to prove that it's an AP, which we were just talking about, right? Now I want you to have a look. Did anyone else, I'd be very surprised if anyone did actually, but delightfully surprised. Did anyone else set their answer out as a table, like I have? Anyone? No? I wouldn't be surprised if no one did, because it kind of feels like a bit of an overpowered tool um, to answer this question. But I hope you can see, I'm going to make the argument, that it's a very clear way of setting out what's going on. Yeah? You've got your three different years, you've got the increase every time, and then you've got the result over here on the right-hand side. Okay? And then you draw a conclusion. You're like, every time there's a common difference, it's an AP, fine. Let's look at part B. Here, you can start to see a little bit more of the advantage that you get in setting this out in a table. Because you're just having equations flying everywhere. Some of you actually ran into this problem where you were like, wait, what is his wage? You'd see that 15%, and that's the increase, but that's not his wage, that's how much his wage increases by, right? So you can see, unlike uh, with Lawrence, the increase column here is actually a little more interesting and useful. It changes every time, it changes on the basis of whatever the previous year's income was. Um, and then you get your resulting things over here. Now it's very important that you do show, I'll, I'll highlight it right down here, um, you do show this result that proves that it's a GP, right? You've got your division for, from one turn to the next one, and you have to do it for all of them, right? So it's not a common difference, ratio. it's a common ratio, right? Um, and you get 1.15, not 0 0.15, because um, otherwise it wouldn't be increasing from year to year, okay? Now, just quickly, because it's going to be relevant to our topic today, the 1 and the 0.15, they each represent two different things, right? What's the 0.15 again? It's the percentage, it's 15%, it's how much it increases by. Why is there a one there? Why is it not 0 0.15? Yeah, it has to include whatever the initial salary was, or maybe not initial, it's the, just the previous years, because you keep on doing it over and over again. So there's the one, and then there's the 0 0.15. Okay, now lastly, and this is where the table becomes most useful, um, Maybe we're snapping a picture of this because I don't expect you to write it all. It's quite a lot of working, as you can see. Okay. I hope you've got those numbers. They should match, right? But importantly, you can see, and you're going to get asked to do this all the time, right? You're comparing two different sequences here, two different progressions. And it can be really easy just to model up all the numbers. Now, some of you will have just gone for this second pair of numbers. You look at year number six. You show that um, at that point, Julian's wage is more than Lawrence's, and you just say, I'm done. Can anyone tell me why that's not enough? You have to do the previous years as well. Have a think. You can, if you've got the question there, it might help, because the language of the question is very important. Yeah, good, I'll, good, I'll clarify, and then I'll let Parent have a go. My question is, actually, I'll just ask, 
How many of you just did year six, just calculated year six and left off year five? I, it's fairly common. Most people would sort of like, that's the instinct. Okay, that's fine, all right. Now I'm suggesting it's not enough. That's only half the answer. If you only do one year and not the other. Okay, that's right. Do you know how you do um, 1.15 have 6 minus 1. Isn't that year 5? Because your plan for 5 years, not 6. Have a think for a second. Let's just, let's just think about what Sarang said, because it made me for a second question what's going on. Yeah, okay. Okay, have a look. Have a think for a second. Let me just make sure I understand what you're saying, Sarang, and then let's see if other people can throw a thought to this. Um, so you're looking at my year six calculation here, right? And you can see, I'll zoom in. What have I used, by the way? I've actually used the formula in that first line. I just haven't given the statement. I've just put numbers in. AR to the N minus one, right? That's the formula for the nth term of a GP. Yep. Um, but then six minus one is gonna give you five. Isn't that, is that, isn't that the fifth year? Why is this the sixth year? Moe, what's your thought? If you put six, it would have been six after the first, which would have been seven. Mm -hmm. So the reason you remove one is that, so you have five after the first one. Mm. Which means it's six in total. Okay, now if you didn't quite catch that, if you didn't quite catch that, think about how a GP forms, right? What do we call, yeah, you get it? What's the pronumeral we use for the first term in a GP? A, right? So we start with A, there's your first term. And then you look at the next one. What's the next one? It's a GP, right? It's going to be A times whatever your common ratio is, right? AR. Is that okay? And then you go AR squared and so on, right? Now, if I'm going to the sixth year, here's the first, here's the second, here's the third, here's the fourth, here's the fifth, here is the sixth year, but the index is five. Does that make sense? If you want to think about it this way in terms of this particular question, his income has increased five times. It started there and it's increased once, twice, three, four, five times. So that's why the index ended up being five. Make sense? Okay. All right, now, I did ask the question and we didn't quite answer it. Parent, I wonder if you want to suggest why do we have to work out actually two years worth? To show that it doesn't actually increase in the fifth year, but it's in the sixth year. Yeah, fantastic. The question has this one word there, which is the reason why we have to do this. It says show that the sixth year is the first time, right? Because otherwise I could have gone to like the tenth year. And the tenth year, obviously this guy would be earning more, but that doesn't show that the tenth year is the first time it happens. The sixth year is the first time it happens. So you've got to show before that and there's a change. And that's why you can see I've highlighted it in different colors. Again, to try and communicate as clearly as possible. Okay.